Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family? Today we're going over the top five fall car care products that you need for your car. Let's get started. All right guys, so the first product that we're gonna be going over is our Supreme Wash and Wax. Now the reason that we're going with a waxed infused soap is to kill two birds with one stone. Now what I mean by that is we're gonna be washing our car while boosting the shine and protection because it's the fall time right now. So we're kind of in an awkward position where we're in between the summer and the winter so there really isn't much to prepare for right now you're just kind of maintaining the luster shine and the protection on your vehicle before we get into the winter and we can do that using our supreme so in order to use this we're going to go ahead and set up our two bucket method so we're going to fill up our buckets with water right now and then we're going to insert our dirt traps in just a few seconds all right guys now that we have our two buckets filled up with water now we're going to go ahead and insert our dirt traps now when it comes to your dirt traps you want to make sure that you fill your bucket with water first and then put your dirt traps because if you do it the opposite way if you try to fill it up with the dirt traps already in there it's going to lift up the dirt trap and it's not going to seal towards the bottom so now that we have our two bucket method set up now we're going to set up our torque foam blaster and the reason we're using this today is because this is an alternative if you don't have a pressure washer so if you don't have a pressure washer you don't need to worry about it this gun nozzle actually is connected to our garden hose and that's all we need in order to achieve some pretty great suds. So we're going to grab our Supreme wash and wax and we're going to pour about two ounces of product into the bottle itself. And then we're also going to pour an ounce into our wash bucket. And then pro tip for you guys out there, if you guys want to fill up your bottle very quickly, just dump it into the bucket of the water. And you're all filled up. And then all you have to do now is simply put on the nozzle. And then before we actually start foaming, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off to knock off the loose dirt and debris. But I'm gonna show you guys how quick and easy it is to connect it. All you have to do is simply pull this uh, sleeve back, slide it in, lock it in, and you're all set to foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. We'll come back to our two bucket method. We'll foam it, and then we'll get down to our wash. All right guys, so when it comes to rinsing the car, you always wanna start from the top, work your way down, just as if you are doing it whenever it comes to actually wiping down your car. Just because if you try to rinse the lower part through a vehicle first, it's going to kick everything up to the top of the vehicle. And you have a lot of things to worry about in the lower parts of your body, of your paint, like corrosive brake particles from your brakes and all the road around this to, you know, end up driving through. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our, well, we already have our two bucket method set up, but as you guys saw earlier, I did put some soap into my soap bucket here. So I'm just going to activate the studs right now. And now we're all ready to foam. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to grab our torque foam blaster. We're going to go ahead and slide that in there. And then you can also fiddle with the dials on the top of your foam blaster. I personally like doing a nice balance between soap and water. So that way you have the nice, thick, fluffy suds. But if you want more suds, you can go ahead and up it up to like speed five, or sorry, setting five for those great foaming results. And as you guys can see, this thing foams up great. It provides great suds just with your garden hose. So like I said, you don't need a pressure washer for this application. All you need is a garden hose. That's all it is. Everything else comes with the unit with the Torque Foam Blaster 6. And as you can see, it works out great. The fan, you can actually adjust it to shoot vertical or horizontal, whichever one you prefer. And right now, I'm just going around the car, making sure that everything is nice and foamed up. And this foam acts as a lubricant. So it's not just for show, it's not just for looks. This actually does serve a purpose, and that purpose is to uplift dirt and grime from the body of your paint to safely guide it off. That way you don't inflict any kind of damage like scratches and swirls. I'm just going around one more time just to make sure everything's nice and foamed up because I will be wiping it down in just a few seconds here. So obviously, the more lubrication, the more better. That's really what's gonna ultimately save you against scratches and swirls. And then once you're all done foaming up, simply pull off the blaster itself and that pops right out. And then we're gonna grab our wash mitt, which as you guys saw is in our bucket already. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide this in. This is our furry five finger wash mitt. And the reason I like this wash mitt is because of this five finger cleaning action. And that's gonna work out especially well for all these areas that have curves. You can go ahead and, you know, move your fingers around to, you know, 
basically wipe down those curves very nicely without having to have an awkward position. And this also works out great so that you can deep clean vents or any kind of hard to reach areas. Uh, if you have an exotic vehicle that you're working on, this is going to work out great so you don't have to be in an awkward position and you can just go ahead and grasp those curves very nicely. Now, whenever it comes to wiping down your car, always, always, always start from the top and work your way down. In this case, I did start at the hood, but that was just because I was trying to show you guys the proper demonstration on how to wipe down your vehicle. And then whenever you do a certain part of your vehicle, you always want to come back to your two bucket method. And this is really what's going to save your life. So what you want to do is you want to dunk the washman inside and you kind of want to scrub the face of the washman against that dirt trap sitting at the bottom. And that's going to knock off any kind of loose particles like dirt and debris from the wash mitt. And then once you're done with that, simply rinse it out or wring it out outside of the bucket. Go grab some more car wash suds and you're all ready to start wiping down your car again. So now I'm going to actually start on the top part. So I'll do the windshield here. Just to make sure that all the dirt, grime, all the pollen is knocked off because the last thing that you want to worry about when it comes to driving is having obstructed vision. So that's why we're starting on the windshield here. And as you guys can see, there's a bunch of pollen on the windshield, which is a big no-no. We don't want that. You want to make sure that your clarity is nice and clear. Then we're going to also move to the roof as well while utilizing a straight wipe motion. I'm going to go back onto this side and then pro tip for you guys, make sure you use both sides. I like to just kind of flip my hand within the wash mitt and then use the other side as well because the other side is untouched. So make the best use of it. If you can't reach, feel free to take it off that we can get a further reach. And then I'm going to go back onto this side real quick just to get that little middle piece here. And we're all done. So now I'm going to come back to my two bucket method and do the exact same thing until we're done washing the car. All right, guys. So now that we're done wiping down the car, now what we're going to do is rinse it off. And same thing, top to bottom. The last thing that you want to do is work double. So what I mean by that is don't rinse the bottom because you're still going to have to rinse the top. And as you guys know, that soap is just going to get back to where you rinsed it off already. So you're going to be twice, you're going to be doing twice the amount of work for no reason. So always start from the top. I always like to do the roof entirely, the windshield and the rear glass. And then you can go ahead and do the sides of the vehicle, like the doors, the fenders, the quarter panel, and then the lower parts like the wheels. And then basically once you're all done with that, you can go ahead and jump straight into the drying process without having to worry about any kind of soap residue still left on your car. All right guys, so we just finished washing the Tesla. We rinsed it off. And now I'm gonna show you guys a great way to protect and shine your ride as you drive with our Lucent Spray Shine. Now Lucent Spray Shine is a synthetic spray wax. So this is gonna work out great to, like I said, shine the car and protect it in one single step. So you can use this, so you can use this product on your vehicle wet or dry. So you can use it actually right now while the car is still wet. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All you have to do is simply spray directly onto the paintwork. And as you guys can see, it does break down the tension of the water on the surface. Grab your favorite Chemical Guys drying towel and then simply wipe down and you're all set to go. And just like that, you shine your ride, you protect it, and you dry it all at the exact same time. So this is kind of also just kind of adding to the whole, you know, knocking out two birds with one stone. I'm gonna set my bottle down real quick. And then I'm just gonna continue drying the rest of the hood right here. And this leaves behind a perfectly streak free finish. So for all you guys out there who are also, you know, always struggling with streaks on your car, this is a great product for you guys out there. That way you achieve the results that you're looking for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the vehicle and continue drying the rest of it. So pro tip for you guys out there, whenever it comes to washing your car outside in direct sunlight, always dry the side first that has the sun hitting it. That way you don't get any kind of water spots here at the detail garage. We don't necessarily have to worry too much about that because we are using deionized water, which means that there are no minerals in the water that could potentially leave water spots behind. So that definitely helps us out here. But if you don't, you can still use this product and achieve great results. And I would actually recommend using it if you don't have any filtered water at all to help cure your drying process.
All right guys, so we just finished drying the Tesla with our Lucent Spray Shine and then we pulled it in and now it's time to address and basically just kind of look at our tires and our trim. Now these are gonna be some of the areas that you really wanna be on the lookout when it comes to maintaining the look of your vehicle because these things, if they're not protected, they can get dried out and rot very quickly. So to address this, we're gonna be using our Galactic Black Wet Look Shine. Now this right here is an oil-based dressing. And the reason that I chose an oil-based dressing is because, you know, it's fall, there's a lot of rain, there's a lot of, you know, a bunch of different types of weather going on. So in order to really have the most durable layer of protection, we want to use something that's going to help repel water, especially when it comes to the rain, because the last thing that we want to worry about is applying a tire shine, it rained the next day, and then it just washes it all off. So right now I'm going to show you guys how to easily apply your tire shine to your tires and your trim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off half the tire here. And then we're also going to apply some onto the trim as well. So I'll grab a secondary piece of tape and then we'll just mask off our plastic trim. And then I'm going to set my tape down. I'm going to grab my bottle of Galactic Black. Like I said, this is an oil based dressing. So you can apply this with your favorite chemical based foam or microfiber applicator. Me personally, I prefer microfiber. I feel like it just kind of applies it more finely and it also maintains the product on the applicator itself. That way you don't waste any kind of product. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna start off small. So we're only gonna spray about two sprays onto our applicator. And then if we need more, we'll apply more. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start applying it to the tires. And you guys will see right away, it just makes the tires like jet black. So it just really revives the look of your tires. It takes away that dull brown look. It gives it a nice, rich, new meaning. Very quickly, very easily. And since it is oil-based, it does an incredible job of just really reviving, you know, whether your plastic trim be super neglected or not so bad, it's just gonna do a superior job of just bringing it back to life. And then just to kind of show you guys real quick, I completely forgot to do the trim. I'll just do a little section right here and then I'll pull off the tape right now. I'm just going to go ahead and coat this tire just one last time real quick. And then right now I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape. So that way you guys can see the nice little 50 50. As you guys can see, this is dry and dull and neglected. This is nice, rich, high gloss shine as well as the trim itself. You'll see that it's nice and protected, super dry, and this is fully dry to the touch. All right guys, and for the last two fall car care essentials that you need for your car is going to be our total interior cleaner, protect and wipes, as well as our detail vac handheld car vacuum. Now these combination of products are gonna work out especially well for your interior because you can use total interior cleaner, protect and wipes to basically clean your interior on the go. So whether you wanna go ahead and wipe away body oils, dirt, grime, dust, fingerprints, stains, spills, whatever it is, you name it. These wipes are perfect because you can use them. You pull one out, you clean the area that you want to clean, and it also protects it at the exact same time. And then all you have to do after that is simply toss out the wipe and you're all good to go. And then obviously you want to make sure that you have a remedy for all those leaves and dirt and grime that get kicked into your interior whenever you're going in and out of your vehicle. You know, you're going to be faced with a lot of leaves, especially during the fall. So having something like the Detail Vac is going to be the perfect accessory for your car to keep the interior nice and clean. All right guys, so one thing about the wipes, whenever you're using them, you will notice that they are heavily soaked in the cleaner that you know and love. In this case, these are our total interior wipes. A lot of you guys already know about our total interior in the bottle, and now we have it in nice, convenient, uh, disposable wipe form. So this is gonna work out great for whenever you're on the go. Whenever you don't have that bottle of Speedo wipe with you, you can use these to just clean up your leather, vinyl, rubber, plastic, navigation screens. I just finished using it right here. And as you guys can see, it's already uh, evaporating. So it's just gonna restore the original OEM look. These are the perfect wipes to keep with you in your car to take care of messes like this. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue using this on the dashboard, the navigation screen, the steering wheel, and any other area on the interior that looks all nice and dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and clean it up, get this nice and clean, and we'll be right back with you guys once we're all done. All 
All right, guys, right now I am wiping down the steering wheel. Now the steering wheel, believe it or not, is actually, I would say the dirtiest part of your interior because as you can imagine, you are touching all kinds of things with your hands and then what do you do? You go into your car, you start driving, you start sweating perhaps, you know, you get your body oils from your hands all over your steering wheel along with all the grime and bacteria that you've been touching all day and you just get a heavy accumulation of sweat, grime, dirt, whatever the case may be. So keeping your steering wheel nice and clean is a big plus whenever it comes to your interior because you wanna make sure that you have your hand secure on the wheel. The last thing that you want is having a nasty, sticky steering wheel that you're holding on to, especially when you're driving in inclement weather conditions. You wanna make sure that your steering wheel is firm and your grip as well. Alright guys, and that's going to wrap it up for our top 5 fall car care essentials. We started off with our Supreme Wash & Wax, which as you guys saw is an excellent soap, not only to wash your car, but to give it a nice coat of Carnauba Wax shine and protection at the exact same time. And then we followed it up with our Lucent Spray Shine, which as you guys saw is a great synthetic wax that not only works on dry surfaces, but wet surfaces as well to help dry your car and shine it and protect it all at the exact same time. And we followed up the tires and trim with our Galactic Black which is a oil-based dressing that works out exceptionally well for exterior trim to revive it and to protect it against the harsh elements. And then we moved on to the interior where we tackled it with our total interior cleaner protecting wipes to clean away all the dirt, grime, body oils, and fingerprints all over the interior surfaces like dashboards, door panels, center consoles, the leather seats as well. And then last but not least, we tied everything together with the detail vac, which is a great tool and accessory to keep in your car with you at all times to pick up any kind of debris that gets stuck in your vehicle's interior. So that's gonna wrap it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you guys wanna pick up any of these products that we mentioned on today's video, they're gonna be linked in the description down below and you can also pick them up at your local detail garage store. As always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys. We'll see you next time.